right, Nick. The Pittsburgh faithful have flocked to Latrobe, Pennsylvania to check out the Steelers in training camp. That is right. Training camp has begun, and a team that we follow very closely on this channel, the Pittsburgh Steelers, are one of the teams that are kind of have a big buzz around their training camp. There's a lot of competitions, whether it's the wide receiver room, the quarterback room, or even somewhere uh, else on the team. There's a lot of very interesting uh, positional battles uh, that could be settled during this training camp. Uh, but we'll get into that story in a minute. Before we get there, I would like to acknowledge our sponsor, Ultra Game NFL, has agreed to give away some awesome NFL merch to our fans. That's you, Pittsburgh Steelers fans. Uh, to get into this giveaway, just leave us a comment in the comment section below. Let us know so far, how has training camp been going? Who do you think is ahead in any of these positional battles? Leave us a comment in the comment section below. And then stay tuned to the end of the video and we'll go through all of the details on how to enter this contest. So Nick, speaking of contests, Pittsburgh Steelers have a contest. Why don't we talk about that a little bit? Yeah, so this is according to NBC Sports. Um, meeting with reporters, Coach Mike Tomlin addressed what he called the elephant in the room, the first unsettled quarterback position that the Steelers have had in a generation. Uh, quoting Tomlin, we're not going to micromanage or overmanage this quarterback competition. The depth chart will not rest on every throw. I know that you guys will want to ask me every day and after every throw, but we're going to be a little bit more steady than that. I think it's important from a leadership perspective to not overmanage it, to not be too impulsive. So that's what I've relayed to those guys, and our actions will continue to display that mindset. All right, Myers, we've seen from quarterback uh, competitions both this year and prior years, you know, teams splitting, quarterbacks splitting reps, teams kind of going back and forth, who's the one, who's the two, kind of keeping it murky. The Steelers have been the exact opposite. They've been very blatant and upfront. Trubisky's number one, Rudolph's number two, Pickett's number three, and it's going to be static, and that's how it's going to be. And you just heard from Tomlin, courtesy of NBC Sports, that that's how they're going to continue to be throughout training camp. They're not going to have a lot of volatility in that depth chart. Uh, what do you think about the Steelers in the quarterback position right now? Uh, I think this is a smart move by a smart coach, Mike Tomlin. Uh, it pains me to say that sometimes, being a Ravens fan, but the Steelers have a top-notch organization and really great coaching. Mike Tomlin, a coach who's never had a losing season for a reason. Uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers, like you said, this is the first turnover in the quarterback uh, role they've had, I think, in 17, I think 18 years. Since 04. Yeah. It's, it's been a very, very long time. There has been no shakeup in the quarterback room. And finally, once they got it, you don't want chaos. You don't want everyone wondering. You want as much much consistency as possible. So I think it's really good, the Steelers here. They're not going to be like, oh, Trubisky did bad on his first, you know, third down set or his red zone set. You know, we're going to pull him out and put Rudolph in. No, you got to give these, this is training camp. This is time to make mistakes. This is time to go for the passes you wouldn't normally go through. So don't take, you know, whether he missed a pass here or there into it. We're going to have to let this thing play out. They're not going to micromanage this thing. We're going to let these guys get the reps they need to get in. And then after a body of work has been completed, we're going to go back and assess it from there. And that's what a smart team would do. And that's what the Pittsburgh Steelers are doing now, don't you think? Yeah, I mean, we talked about it in a video we made a little while ago about the Steelers being pretty smart. The fact they went out and got Mitchell Trubisky and then drafted Kenny Pickett, that they gave themselves two shots, two opportunities to find their franchise quarterback, you know, obviously getting two, basically two first round picks, Trubisky, former first round pick, pick and uh, Pickett, obviously a first round pick. But I love that the Steelers here are actually giving Trubisky a real and fair opportunity to, you know, get used to the offense. He is the new guy on the block, obviously, compared with a guy like Mason Rudolph. There's a lot of flux of going on in that Steelers offense. New additions like George Pickens come to mind. So there is a, you know, give him that fair chance to not have to worry about having one bad practice, one bad throw, one bad preseason game that he may have just lost his starting job. So I think giving Trubisky that fair chance is all part of making sure they actually get two legitimate shots to find their franchise quarterback because obviously Pickett will get his opportunity at some point in the future. And speaking of Pickett, one thing I like about here is the fact that he's buried at number three, I think is really smart by the Steelers. Let me explain why. So in college and the, and the NFL is structured this way a little bit too, is that the rep structure, the first team gets the lion's share of the rep. So let's say if a team period has 30 plays, first team may get 15, second team may get 10, third team may get five. 
So that's telling Kenny Pickett, who's third team, hey, listen, I know you were the starter at Pitt. I know you were the first round draft pick, but guess what? You're getting five reps. you got to earn your right to work your way up the depth chart to beat out uh, Rudolph, who's been here a number of years. you got to learn how to be a pro, learn the offense, and make the most of those five reps because we're not going to just hand you more reps the way some other teams might. So I really like that from the Steelers' perspective, making sure they give Trubisky a fair and real shot to see if he is their franchise guy while also forcing Pickett to earn additional reps instead of having it just handed to him. All right, Nick, everyone's made it to the end of the video, and I'm sure they want some NFL merch just like this fit to be out on the field for training camp as we go right now. Uh, this is some excellent, high-quality NFL merch. I love it, and I wear it all the time. And brought to you, none other, by our partner, Ultra Game NFL. And they want to give away some of this awesome merch to you, the fans. And I'm going to tell you exactly how you can enter that giveaway. First, leave us a like on the video. Second, leave us a comment. Tell us how the training camps have been going so far. Very easy. Third, and finally, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go find Ultra Game NFL's YouTube channel and subscribe to them. Better yet, I'll leave the link in the description below. You can check that out. And while they're there, Nick, what else can they do? Yeah, listen, this, this merch is too good. You can't leave it up to a giveaway. You got to check out our affiliate link in the description box, but it'll take you right to the Amazon Ultra Game NFL store. So that way you can get all the awesome Ultra Game gear to support the team you love. It's training camp. Now's the time to get your gear for the season. Check out our link below in the description box.